Hello everyone. I recently drew a figure like this. In this figure, I just want to show the conjectured stages of Hawaiian collisions. I don't want to repeat the whole figure. Next, I just want to show you how I did those hyperbolic curves. Let's start a new file. First, let's draw a square. Let's hold the control key and draw one square. Choose this square, press control plus D. In this way, we got two square. And uh, let's change the color of one of them, say the red color. Next, let's use the parametric curves. Is here. Since we want to plot the hyperbolic curves, so we can parameterize x equals, say, sine h, just hyperbolic sine t, and y equals hyperbolic cosine t. t takes value from, say, minus 3 to 3. We need axis and let's left preview it. Okay, looks okay, let's apply it. In this way, we get one hyperbolic curve. Let's choose it and uh, use stroke. Then we just put the hyperbolic curve and the axis to bottom. Next, let's choose the other square and uh, repeat the same procedure. We just use parametric curves. This time, we use another parameterization, say x equals 5 times hyperbolic sine t and y equals 5 times hyperbolic cosine t. And t takes value from, say, minus 1.5 to 1.5. We don't need axis this time. And let's now preview it first. OK, let's apply it. In this way, we have two hyperbolic curves. Let's first break the first hyperbolic curve apart from the axis. We just use break up. OK, now let's choose the two hyperbolic curves. We just choose both of them and they use difference. This is how I got the shape I needed in my figure. And uh, we can fill it by gradient. Say use the linear gradient. Let's add a middle node here by double click it. Then we can change the opacity of the left node. A equals say 255. And we can also change a little bit the opacity of the middle node. Say equals A equals 50. OK, it's 3D like. And we can also draw 3D like balls here. First, let's hold the control key and we draw a little ball. Let's amplify it. One can fill it by another color, say by the blue color. And uh, we can use the radio gradient and remove the stroke. Now one can just drag this little ball and uh, put it where, wherever you want. You just price space. In this way, you just put in, say, the quark 
and glow inside the system. Okay, that's it. I hope you enjoy it. Bye bye.